our topic of discussion is cyclotron. Uh, cyclotron is used uh, to study the nuclear structure information through nuclear disintegration via collision and uh, implantation of the ions into solid and uh, their properties synthesize of new materials and further their properties. Cyclotron is also used into the medical sciences and there are so many applications of the uh, cyclotron nowadays. In the Punjab University Chandigarh, Rochester University USA gifted this cyclotron and a cyclotron is set up available in Punjab University where the nuclear scientist perform the experiment and they study the various kind of physics activity. There are so many other places in India where cyclotron uh, facilities are available. Aligarh Muslim University, BARC, TIFR Mumbai, WEC, Andhra Pradesh, Kanpur, IIT Kanpur and there are SINP. These are the places where cyclotron basically set up is available for the nuclear studies as well as of solid material studies. So the point is cyclotron, what basically the idea behind of the working of this cyclotron. The basic idea behind the cyclotron is uh, uh, the basic which concept basically which we use when a charged particle enters into the uniform magnetic field what type of behavior that particle basically shows. So in cyclotron we use a positive ion, a positive ion the proton, neutron and uh, alpha particle. So positive ion particle we use to accelerate to get the beam of the particular energy. But before that we explain the working of the cyclotron, how it works, what is the principle behind of that. It is important to us, we know about the low range force. What is the Lorentz force? Lorentz force basically when a moving charge enters into the electric and magnetic field. So then that time moving charge realizes a force. The total force, electric force as well as of magnetic force is known as the Lorentz force. If a positive charge is placed in a uniform electric field, a force will apply on it towards the direction of electric field. If this is the electric field direction and plus Q charge, positive charge is placed here, then the force on it will be QE. And the direction, this is electric force. So the direction of the electric force will be towards the direction of electric field. This is our electric force and second when a magnetic force, now is the question related to the magnetic force. I have a uniform magnetic field which is basically direction of that magnetic field is inward perpendicular to the direction of this white ball. So to define or to explain the magnetic field, I am using a uniform magnetic field that is constant every year in a particular region uniform magnetic field and this uniform magnetic field is 
perpendicular to the plane of this whiteboard. So, with the help of this force, one can show the direction of uniform magnetic field. So, this is our uniform magnetic field. Before I go into the detail of this Lorentz magnetic force, I want to explain the meaning of this process. Actually, these process are the tail of an arrow. This is an arrow. This is the tip. Tip of this arrow is represented by door, and the end point is represented by the cross. So now the arrow basically enter into the whiteboard. That's why I have used this cross. It means our magnetic field is inward the whiteboard. So what is happening? A positive charged particle enter into this uniform magnetic field and that realize a force. That force is known as Lorentz magnetic force. That this is our positive charge particle which enter into this particular field perpendicularly as a result what happens it starts to move in a circle instead of a linear path it follows a circular path why what is the reason of that what is the point point is I have a uniform magnetic field the direction of the magnetic field is in inward to this white board. A positive charge particle enter perpendicularly into this field. As a result, what we observe, we observe that this charge particle starts to move in a circle. What is the reason behind of that? One can explain this particular phenomenon using the Fleming's left hand rule this is my left hand rule and according to the Fleming's this direction this finger middle finger represent to the direction of the velocity this four finger represent to the direction of the magnetic field and this thumb represent to the direction of the force I am repeating again this is the direction of the velocity, this is the direction of magnetic field and this which is perpendicular to both is the direction of force. So when a charged particle enters into the uniform magnetic field, what happens? V is the velocity of that particle, a small m is the mass, charge we have already defined that is plus Q. Magnetic field which is uniform and into the inward direction, then what will happen? A force basically will apply into this toward this side. My finger represent to the magnetic field. This is the direction of velocity and this is direction of the force. So this is the situation. So as a result, this particle will realize a force into the particular direction F. Again, it will move into the uniform magnetic field under the influence of this particular force and it will travel
like this and every time the direction of the force will be toward the center if r is the radius it means this particle will follow a circular path if suppose r is the radius r is the radius of this circle and here one thing is very important what is that this lorentz magnetic force basically acts like a centripetal force here this magnetic force acts like a centripetal force and this force f which is known as lorentz magnetic force is represented by q v cross b where the direction of this force is perpendicular to the plane of v and b here v and b both are perpendicular this is the this one is the b this one is e uh, velocity and this is the direction of force you can see here again this is the direction of velocity this is the direction of magnetic field so this will be third direction which is perpendicular to this one and this one will be the direction of lorentz magnetic force so force is equal to q v v cross b and this is true the anti clockwise direction is true for the positive charge and opposite to it it will be true for negative charge so the lorentz magnetic force is equal to q q is the charge v is the velocity b is the magnetic field so f will be perpendicular to both and further this can be written as q v b sin theta where theta is the angle in between the magnetic field and the velocity so you can write this and this is unit vector n f magnetic force or if you want to know further about the lorentz force then instead of using this white board as a plane i can consider one more plane here this is a positive charge q the direction of the magnetic field in the plane of this section and this is the direction of velocity which makes an angle theta with this magnetic field so the direction of the force will be perpendicular to the board so this will be the direction of force how to find out this using the uh, right hand thumb rule right hand thumb rule is what i am using this one this is any current carrying conductor right which is placed in a uniform magnetic field charge is flowing into this current carrying conductor so the direction of the force if magnetic field is into this particular direction then this right hand thumb rule this is the force direction and the tip indicate uh, to the velocity from velocity to the magnetic field this curl basically of the finger represent from velocity to the magnetic field like this one so the magnetic field will be into the form of a curl circular form 
so with the help of this idea and through this idea one can conclude about the lorentz force so whenever any charged particle in this case in this particular case positive charge enter into a uniform magnetic field the charge follow the circular path right so this is the path followed by the charged particle 